All right, we're kind of in a hurry here, so we got this weird camera angle, but we're going out. We're gonna try and catch a flounder, and if we do, we're gonna cook it. And if not, hopefully we'll catch a trout we can cook. Uh, but I gotta get out there now, because I know people are already out there taking my spots. So let's go. Could we finally catch a fish? It's a freaking miracle. And it's a flounder. Oh, he's small though. Oh well. He's small anyway, right? <laughs> Is that another one? Oh my, oh my gosh. This is definitely a better one. Heck yeah, that's a keeper. Let's see if we can land it. Should be harder to land. Oh yeah, that's easy. Wow, it went like through his jaw. Oh, well, we'll catch another one right now. Same exact spot. Little guy. I knew something was messing with it, but. Lizard fish. <laughs> These guys just been messing with me. They have matching, matching camo. Trumpers on this guy. Is this I have no probably where are you big flounder holy cow hopefully you're hooked good nice when a plan comes together we got our fish uh, let's get home fillet these suckers and then we'll have a nice meal for tonight all right folks we made it back home and now it's time to fillet those fish but if you know some stuff about me it's I rarely keep fish so I'm not a super expert at filleting fish but I get the job done so let's do that and of course 
I'm gonna put that on like times 20 speed so I don't look like a complete noob. All right, before we start cutting this guy up, let's use this opportunity to look at some of the interesting uh, features that Flounder had. So Flounder is obviously a flattened fish, uh, but if it was a normal fish, it would be swimming like this. So that means that this up here is its dorsal fin, and this whole thing down here is its anal fin. And then here's the pelvic and the pectoral up here. So they have a pretty crazy fins going on. Look how long the dorsal is. Boom. And of course, uh, this eye right here migrated from the other side of its body, the white side. So it's when it's a larval stage, it starts all the way on the white side of the body and it migrates all the way around to the other side. And over here, you can also see it has gills on this side right there. And something interesting I also noticed is the lateral lines right here. It makes a weird bend right up here. I don't know why that is, but it's pretty cool. Interesting, at least. Look at that dorsal coming all the way to the front of the head. It's crazy. All right, let's cut them up. Cut them up. Alright everybody, welcome back to another fine day of Thresher cooking. Today we're going to be cooking baked flounder that we caught previously and we have filleted. And not really, we're just going to be actually freestyling it because I don't have any recipes so we're just going to make it up as we go. Alright, so like I said, I'm just freestyling it so we're going to start off with some butter here. We're just going to melt that down on the stove. All right, we have our butter melted down. We're gonna add that to the bowl. And then we're gonna add some seasonings. I'm gonna go with some lemon pepper, a little bit of extra minced garlic. And we're just gonna mix that up. All right, got our fillets right here. We're gonna get those out. Put them on the pan and then uh, add the seasoning to them. Nice flounder fillets, man. Oh yeah. Like I said, I'm not the best at flying fish, but we definitely made it work. And they look pretty good. Alright, and then we're just going to add our uh, seasoning with butter. Butter seasoning with lemon pepper sauce. <laughs> And in the meantime, I have my uh, oven heating up to 400 degrees. Alrighty, our fillets are all seasoned up. I got a couple here with uh, with uh, cayenne cayenne seasoning I put together because I like spicy foods too. But so we're gonna pop these in the oven. It's already preheated to 400 degrees, and uh, we're gonna let it go for yeah, seven to eight minutes. Or until it's done. And that's going to give us just enough time to cook some asparagus that I grew in my garden. Exclusive sneak peek. Wow, looks good. That's all there is to it. Organic vegetables cooking perfectly. Of course, a little bit of butter goes very well with asparagus. And I think this is not going to be the healthiest meal of all time. <coughs> Finally, after eight minutes, we have the star of the show. Boom! Looks pretty good. If I do say so myself. And there you have it. A simple flounder and asparagus dish right from the sea to your plate. <laughs> now let's see how this tastes. Pretty, pretty good. 